Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. I'm Rena Wells. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing your love reading for June. So welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here. Uh, you know the drill. I'm not going to get into it. You guys know. Look down below. <laughs> If you're drawn to my energy, then that's why you're here. Let's take a look. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's take a look, guys, and see what is going on for Scorpios. What is happening in head, heart, intentions, and near future outcome for June? Thank you. It's a little sticky, Scorpio, so there may be some stuck energies that are happening for you. We have the Seven of Wands shadow work in reverse and the universe in reverse. I feel that you're tired, <laughs> defensive. <clears throat> you don't want to look at your shadow anymore. Your outcome is in a challenged position. So that's the moon. Yeah. I think you're really tired here, Scorpio, in regards to what you are healing. I feel that there is an aspect that it's a challenge because you know that I, I, I think you understand that it's not completely done. You're healing and you're standing your ground here, but you're, you're blocking it in your heart. It's almost like it's too painful, but this is still the unfinished business. You're, you're unable to close out of a cycle because it is a challenge with the moon here. Let's take a look. What is going on with Scorpio? Let's get some supporting cards to, and this came out in a challenge as well. Three of Pentacles. What you've worked on, contracts, soul contracts with somebody. Collaboration, working. You're defensive, maybe something is changing. You're supposed to work with someone and someone collaborate with somebody. You feel that you've completed your shadow stuff is what I'm getting here, Scorpio. I feel like you feel like you've done the shadow work and this person um, doesn't want to work on it anymore or somebody doesn't want to work on it, they're done with the shadow work, like something's just not working, and it's the soul contract that's very challenging because there's a defensive energy here with what's happening with the shadow work, okay? We have a queen of pentacles in reverse. Could be around money, could be around financial uh, situations, could be around a family situation um, that's become very unstable here. Let's see the outcome here. Oh, we've got one that flipped. I'm going to take the one that flipped. We'll take a look at this. It's two of swords. So you, a decision needs to be made. So we've got the knight of swords in reverse. The page of swords in reverse. The seven of cups in reverse. We have two sevens on the board. So that is, this is challenging, but it's spiritual cha um, challenge. Okay, it's a spiritual challenge here. Somebody's purposely blocking communication based on somebody hasn't fully completed their shadow work is what I'm getting. Okay, we have justice here. Sorry, my camera. I just noticed it was a little off. Um, we have karmic justice coming in. So what I'm seeing here, Scorpio, is somebody was in a very immature energy here in this connection, okay? And something came to a complete halt where this contract is now being, the soul contract is being affected or where you've communicated, where you've built things up before, it's now in a very challenging position. You don't want to do, I feel this is your energy, Scorpio, you've done the shadow work, you feel that you've become victor victorious out of your darkness, so you're blocking this energy now coming in June. Or you're being blocked, right? Take it as it resonates. But <clears throat> the unfinished business here with the shadow work is seeing very clearly that something that you're doing in this connection, in your situation, is just simply not healing. And you're seeing very clearly that maybe that this is like a separation or something like that. Hold on, my phone is Sorry ringing. That's Scorpio. Um, so there's something very clear here that either you're, you're going to have to change roles of who you've always been in this connection or your person has to do that. But karm, this self-love that you're doing right now and the challenge of not looking at this is bringing in this karmic justice. I feel almost like there is like trying to work on a lot of energies with your person or um, if you're in separation with your person, this is their energy, what, what's going on. Could, you got to take it as it resonates. But there's definitely trying to do this work, trying to do the shadow work, trying to move through a really healed pro, into a healed process somebody's kind of lagging behind or it's just not working and 
you've pulled back Scorpio in regards to loving yourself and moving into your own abundance and seeing very clearly like this is just a never ending story and it's not changing anything. So let's see what's come to a halt here. Yeah, there is, could have been a, a connection, a marriage, but the Hierophant is here. So this has been guided by a very higher power in regards to learning some some lessons in regards to traditions, maybe old ways of thinking, in regards to culture. Um, but I'm also seeing that you're learning here, Scorpio, that maybe somebody put the halt on something because this contract wasn't going the way that you first thought it was meant to go. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Wow, with the King of Wands. Okay, could be third party situation, but doesn't have to be. Okay, what I'm seeing here is you're done. There was just unrequited love in this situation and you became victorious in healing your shadow of maybe being with this individual. Uh, it was emotionally manipulated and taxing for you. If there are two people, you're seeing very clearly that uh, you have to choose um, your stability and your emotional well-being. And, and that may be challenging for you because I feel that you may have already come a long way with that. Um, and you may be putting it on pause in regards to, you know, loving yourself more. And I'm definitely seeing this King of Wands because you're doing that. There is a King of Wands that's, that's looking at you healing and loving the fact that you're healing. Okay, this could be a new person that's coming in. Take a look. Who is this King of Wands? Who is this King of Wands? Yeah, this King of Wands desires you here. They see that that you've been going through a lot of conflict, okay, in regards to love. And so I'm really kind of feeling that this is a new love interest. But it's coming because of karmic justice. So if you've been on a karmic cycle and you are fully aware of what is meant for you, that karmic justice is coming for you in June. Okay, so let's take a look. What is going on for Scorpio? Yeah, you're free. Exactly what I thought. You're freeing yourself to meet the person you're meant to be with. So whatever you ended, you may have ended another situation or whatever else. I'm really seeing that you know, you may have thought somebody was the one, but this is unrequited love and you've healed that and you've moved on and look at this releasing your ex. I think you are now searching for the one. This could have been a karmic situation or it could have been simply that there's too much energies uh, blocking this connection that you're ready for new love. And there is somebody watching you, Scorpio, okay, that is interested in you. That is going to be your real soulmate. This is beautiful. Yeah, and this person is actually worth waiting for. So I think there's still some clearing up. There's going to be a lot of chemistry. This is going to be something that you're going to marry, but you got to love yourself first. Okay, Scorpio, look at this new love. Exactly. So I think what's going on is you had to go through these trials and tribulations. You had to kind of come into a realization of um, a deeper sense of shadow of yourself and where you weren't grounding yourself, where you weren't following your mission, where you weren't making money or being emotionally... Um, not um fulfilling it for yourself connecting to source it's like you've got a greater understanding of, of god's light now which is amazing let's see what's going on with scorpio in june what's coming for scorpio what's coming yeah this is the new direction scorpio so you're really putting pulled onto your uh onto a real sacred path okay you've received karma from and it could be someone that you're in separation with if you know you're in a twin flame journey but if you're not, I mean, that's okay too. I mean, this is general, so take it as you got to take it as it resonates. You've received a certain amount of karma in regards to um, now freeing yourself and moving away and going through a separation. What is this underneath? Um, yeah, you've been guided by the higher realms, the fifth dimension, to go on this journey of self discovery to maybe separate from an individual, but you're moving into a new direction now because you're loving yourself. And this is really going to be your person. This is going to be your soulmate. The card came out closest to that, right? You're kind of staying quiet right now. You're pulled to yourself. You're recognizing the crossroads that you've been on. You know that there's been a lot of destruction. You're ready to release it. I think you're really getting ready to focus on the new. You're, you're looking at the deception, the lies. Maybe that's happened in a family situation. You're knowing your worth. You were really fearful of, you know, maybe what was mirroring in your reality. But you're reinventing yourself out of an old cycle. So I'm seeing a lot of really great things let's see new portals that are opening up for scorpio please 
what new portals are opening up for Scorpio? Let's take a look. What new portals are opening up for Scorpio for June, please, Spirit? So yeah, I'm seeing a lot of great energy. You've done a lot of work. I think you don't want to sit in that dark energy anymore. I feel you've done enough. You're like, okay, I'm ready to actually live now is what I'm seeing. You're an empathic star seed, Scorpio. Well, you're a water sign. We have inner earth. So I think you're learning how to use your gifts. You're going to be um, learning more about your empathic star seed sensitivity now in this new in this new vibration that you're moving into about energetic sovereignty, what you absorb and how you um, it affects your environment and where you lose yourself. OK, Scorpio, we have inner earth. You'll survive this new solutions and new beginnings amazing so there's definitely like a brand new beginning that is coming for you because you're coming out of this this cave here into beauty we have a new earth look at this this is you scorpio it's happening hold your hold your vision so you are manifesting i'm feeling it's not even a person place or thing you're you're envisioning the feeling the emotion that you want to create and you're starting to hold that which is amazing because that's more alchemy than focus on 3d manifestation and you know that what is aligned for you will come from god right and you know that you won't question it because you may have qu come from a place of questioning in the past right spirit wants to be taking one on the bottom star ancestors hidden seekers lost wisdom look a little deeper so i think that was the energy that i was getting here scorpio that you still have some shadow work to do but that's okay it, it can't all come at once right i feel what's happening is as you move into the new vibration um, as you deal with that sensitivity and learning your psychic gifts and your natural abilities, again, hit me up if you if you want to learn more about that, because um, I help I help people like that, like you, because um, I'm one as well. Uh, how to move into your mission? How to move into your psychic gifts? And unfortunately, we have to deal with darker things. But you're a Scorpio; you go really dark. You go really deep to the bottom of the ocean. So you are learning what these darker energies are. And you're understanding um, that this is going to come in the new vibration again. But it's going to be more or less, it's not going to be as, as difficult as you've had to go through, okay? It's going to be more of an integration process than a healing. It'll be some healing for sure, but there's, I'm seeing more of an integration of learning and mastering, like a, like, a, like a learning field, you know, like a school or something like that, like a training school specialty art psychic school or something right so yeah that that's what i'm getting i feel like there's one more that wants to come out let's see okay and so these are star brothers wow you've got ancestor ancestors and star brothers horus energy protection loyalty safety and trust so trust this new path okay scorpio i know it's been difficult but trust it it's definitely coming through um new love new abundance new things that you can build okay you're going to be building brand new so let things fall apart okay this is going to push you into your present moment to go the distance you're going to be synchronistic serendipity beautiful things that start opening up for you okay truth is going to be coming through for you yeah see you're in between worlds right now that's okay scorpio you're just rebirthing yourself you're the phoenix that's something that you can do and we've got one that wants to ground on the floor. No place like home. You're going to find your place, Scorpio. If you've been looking for your place, you're going to find your place. It's just time to go in this new direction, okay? Let us get um, some messages from your person, okay? If you have a particular person in mind, think of your person or if you want to know this new love or new soulmate or what's coming in love, this is going to be their higher self messages. We're going to take whatever comes out. Okay. Whoa. All right. Mostly divine feminine messages. Well, we got quite a bit and I wasn't planning on that. So we have one from this masculine. And that message is, I'm seriously working on healing the addictions in my life. Okay. Divine Feminine, we have, I feel so abandoned when I can't feel you. I know I'm pulling at your energy, but I'm in so much pain right now. I'm sorry. I know you need space. Okay. There isn't much I can do, but trust in a higher power. A day doesn't go by that I don't think of you. Okay. So this could have been, been what you're releasing here, Scorpio, from the past is what I'm getting. Okay. Okay. Your piercing energy recognized my truest self when I couldn't. 
It illuminated the depths of my potential. I love you beyond any form of existence. I'm feeling a little off. Something feels different. What is going on with you? Okay, and Divine Feminine. I love God and where God leads me. I trust Spirit will lead me back into your arms. I want us, but I surrender it all to Great Spirit. Beautiful. And I feel that's the release that's happening and something new is definitely vibrating into your love. Either this person or, or a new a new love, however your situation unfolds or entails. I'm sending you guys so much love. Oh, forgot. Spirit guide. Spirit guide. Spirit guide. Let's do it. Let's get a spirit animal for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In North Node, let's get a spirit animal. What spirit animal should Scorpio be working with in June? We've got two Scorpio. We have the bee and the cheetah. Look at that. Go the distance and work really hard, okay? You had the go the distance card that came out here. You got two cheetahs. That might be something. You may be a cheetah or a jaguar or something in that realm. Big cats. But there is definitely a leaping energy to go for it and to work really hard. So take a look at those two animals. Bees are really busy, okay? So take a look at that. And I'm sending you so much love. Bye, Scorpio.